The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out with the German DAX like we usually do. Then we'll look at the FTSE. And then we want to take a look at the Hang Seng because we're having a huge move in the Chinese market, up 2.5%, the biggest move in a very long time. Not unexpected because it's coming off of that 61% retracement level. Uh, you can see here we're running up against a little bit of resistance up here at the double top that we could have had from way back on May 22nd. This is an hourly chart on the DAC, so that certainly possible to give a little bit of resistance up in this area. Now, let's take a look at the... Uh, at uh, the FTSE here, you'll notice that uh, here again, uh, we, we're looking at some resistance levels coming in at a ABCD 1.27 expansion, but it certainly might not make any difference uh, overall if some of these things happen. But let's quickly look at the, uh, at the Hang Seng because this was at such a critical level here and it's had a really big move. And uh, this is what we were expecting. Thankfully, uh, our folks in Hong Kong that we work with each day were able to uh, catch that thing on the downside and got a lot of it uh, started on the upside. Whether that's going to continue on or not, you know, we have to remain to be seen. Um, someone <clears throat> asked me, you know, what are what are some of the things that I look at that, you know, I don't trade that I look at just as far as uh, indicators or give me an idea of uh, you know what's happening with the market. Well, there's not very many of them because I just basically look at the the bar charts. I mean, I I, I listened in to uh, Tom DeMarc's uh, seminar that he, a webinar that he had this morning, and I swear to God, I could only listen for about 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, because it was so far over my head with all the technical stuff and the indicators. And oh my goodness, I mean, it was just uh, it was just over my head. But let me just give you a really bird's eye view. First of all, uh, as you know, we were looking for the market to bottom sometime this week, uh, or excuse me, last, last week with the new moon coming in. And the first thing that I look at each week, of course, is the New York Stock Exchange Index. It's one of the first two or three charts that I post in the newsletter each week. Now, this is just a 15-minute that gives you the whole month of May. And if you look at this nice ABCD pattern, it, you know, you don't have to count any waves or anything like that. You just look at A at the top. B at the bottom, it rallies up to C, which is a 50% retracement, and comes down to the exact D point. And you'll notice that if you look at this, from the high to the low, you'll see that it was down 233 bars. Now, that happens to be a Fibonacci number, but that's just a coincidence, folks. All I'm trying to show you is from the high to the low was equal number of bars as it was from the 16th down to the 30th, the same thing. 233 15-minute bars, basically. And all I did was draw in the big ABCD. There's smaller ones there. The key to this, folks, is really what happened on the 31st of um, May. Y do you realize that we, we made a higher bottoms on here? Look at this, these higher bottoms that we had during this time. The real bottom was on that new moon day. Remember how the Dow was down really bad and we, hear, we were hitting... Uh, 27, uh, 28 was the low on the S&P, and that was a lower low by far than it was on the 30th. It was making a 1.618 expansion. So there's a huge divergence uh, going on with this particular index at that time. Now, what's interesting about this index used to be known as the knife, NYFE, New York Futures thing, but uh, after Tudor stopped trading it, it just died. And um, every and all they use it for now is how they calculate the mutual funds and you know the values. This is 2,200 of the best 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 stocks that are listed in the New York Stock Exchange. There's also foreign exchange foreign stocks listed in here also, but these are the most liquid and the best capitalized of all the 2,200 stocks. It's not. Uh, 500 stocks like the S&P, it's not 30 stocks like the Dow Jones, and it's not uh, 5,000 stocks like the NASDAQ Composite or 100 like the NQ. This is the really broadest market, and that's why, you know, we're looking at it. 
So that's one of the indices that I look at to get a broad idea. In fact, where we are right now is right up to a 78% retracement of that whole move from May the 30th when we made the high up there, excuse me, April 30th. So whether that means anything or not, you know, remains to be seen. Now, what did, I'd like to uh, bring in one other chart, and that is the, this is the cash S&P index. Let me get this up so you can take a look at it, because as of last night, uh, we had a beautiful 78% uh, retracement level, and you notice that we had this big shooting star candle. Well, with the news last night, whatever it was, we went back and we touched that high again, Today, so it shattered that uh, theory of a of a shooting candle, but uh, we're still up against that 78% level. Remember, now we're up six days in a row, which statistically means you're probably ready for some type of a correction, but you don't know if that's going to happen now or whether it's going to happen at all. Now, I did want to. Uh, we're going to try to have Arch Crawford on this week because he has uh, scared the bejeebies out of a bunch of his uh, subscribers uh, because he has put a major, major red alert out about the possibility of a war during the month of June. And it's not to be taken lightly because uh, he's given these projections before. And um, not all of them have come true, but quite a few of them have. And he's been questioned by the uh, you know, by the federales. Uh, the FBI actually, you know, asked him, you know, where are you getting this information? And when he told him it was astrological, they hung up on him. So <laughs> who knows? Anyway, in his newsletter, uh, what Arch did was he focused on this pattern that we've seen so many times before. Uh, it's also known as the T6 pattern. That's the expanding triangle, broadening top, the one, two, three, four, five, reverse point wave, uh, T, the T6 pattern in the Gartley, in Gartley's book. And you'll notice that that's where we are. You notice that the little red line there, we were at 27.52 uh, the week ago last Friday. Remember, we got down to 27.28 on Monday the 3rd, and now we've, we're, we're banging up against that 29.10 uh, level uh, again this morning. So this market has certainly held pretty good. Um, uh, we have a question here from uh, Ruby says, do you have any per, uh, uh, Mark Douglas trading? Do you have any? Do you have any participation on the Mark? Do oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Ruby, uh, Mark, Mark moved to Tucson on um, August 16th, or Elvis's birthday, uh, oh, the day he died, sorry, August 16th was the day he passed away, uh, on uh, 1996, he'd been coming to my house, uh, Pismo and all the stuff, and he'd been working with me for quite some time, he was just starting the trading in his own book, and uh, he just, uh, he lived a half a mile away, so we'd come over every day, we shared an office together, uh, he had, a, you know, his own office, but we basically sat side by side all during that time, and people would come in to visit him and ask questions, but he did everything himself. I, the only thing, I, I might have been interviewed one or two times, but I had absolutely nothing to do about it. When Mark Doug's a does a book, Ruby, uh, when you see one page in Trading in the Zone, there are eight or nine pages that he wrote to get exactly what he wanted to say on that one page. I'd never seen anybody so uh, uh, really wanting to be so perfected. You know, my books are <laughs> uh, not like that. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit, you know, but uh, it's uh, really, uh, it, I hope that answers your question. If not, you know, and, and put it back in. 877-927-6648. Gold is next. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the gold market. Uh, we talked about that possible double top up there at 1354, uh, excuse me, 1352. We backed off, uh, you, you can imagine, well, it was 28. Uh, we're looking for $34 to come down to 1320 is what we'd like to see. The 38% retracement of this, folks, is 1322, 1320. Uh, the low today is 1323.60. And we're trading four dollars higher now. I've already had three emails saying, "Is that the bottom?" And the answer to that is, I'll let you know in a couple of days. I don't know. It's still a little too early. Uh, the good part is that it went back and touched the uh, the highs that we made in March. You can see that dark black line. Then all I did was connect it. That was an equal line, and uh, I'd love to have seen it make the 38 two percent retracement. At uh, you know down thirty four dollars that that would be one that I would really like to have but you know this is just a a simple technical picture folks it's not anything uh, where you have to count waves or anything like that you can you can see the uh, butterfly bottom that we had down there where we had the triple bottom one two three times we went down to twelve sixty eight uh, and then we had the really nice Gartley pattern uh, that happened on the thirtieth of uh, May and away it went. And uh, this is a bullish chart. I mean, I don't think it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I sold out at 13, 1340, and uh, you know, I probably have to buy it back higher, I guess. But that's what we're watching here. Whether it's going to be the case or not, you know, will have to uh, remain to be seen. But I, I really don't know if that's going to, if that's going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, if that's going to happen or not. But the good part is, no. Nobody else knows either. All I'm doing is focusing on the uh, on this action here. In the gold. Now, what I would like to see today, we've had a five dollar rally, a four dollar rally off the bottom. I'd love to see it go down and retest that 1322, 1320 level, and then I really have a good spot. If I buy it here, I have to risk another five hundred dollars. I don't want to do that. So that's uh, the reason behind it. We have the same situation going on in the live hogs. Uh, we talked about live hogs yesterday. Uh, we had an order to buy live hogs at the August on the August contract. And what happened was we didn't get filled. We missed it by about $150. And what did it do? It rallied a little over you know, 1000 bucks. And there we are waving the flag uh, of surrender at Mount Saribachi. But by golly, we didn't get in that. That's my, that's my uh, 
problem because I have to, you know, the people that I work here at TFNN, the people that subscribe that I care a lot about, you know, I just can't throw in a market order and say, well, you know, let's uh, pay for the best. I've got to give them a spot where, you know, we don't have to risk very much. And that's what I try to do. Not an easy task, by the way. And so I get as close as I can. Sometimes you hit them spot on, other times you don't. But uh, what I'm looking for in this gold, I still think we got a chance at this 1320. And that's the one that I'd like to uh, really look at very, very closely. Now, if we had an ABCD pattern from the high there at 1352 to where we are at 1323, down $29, then I would really, I'd be all over this. But we don't have an ABCD pattern there. So uh, that's all we have. And in fact, we don't even have a 382 retracement. So I, I can't buy it. I mean, I, uh, that's just uh, what I'm looking at. So I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but that's what I try to do. You know, there's nothing else that I, uh, that I can do is to see what's going on with this. I have no idea about what's going on with any tariffs or deals that are made. I don't believe any of them. But uh, that's neither here nor there. But we'll we'll see whether any of this stuff means anything on a longer time frame uh, or not. Uh, we are going to have Tim Bost as our guest on Thursday. I'm going to do my best to have Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford on on uh, tomorrow. If not, I'll try to have him in on Friday. Uh, uh, Tom uh, Tom <laughs> Arch is really. Uh, He's posted something. He doesn't. He doesn't go out on a line like the, on a limb like this very often, folks. And uh, he is really uh, talking about a potential uh, a conflict or war here, and uh, you know, be able to see uh, whether it's going to happen or not. But we'll get Arch on here to tell us what's going on. He's had. He's made some amazing predictions, you know, based on astrology. You know, I. And I again, I I only know a little tiny bits and pieces. I used to think I knew a lot more until I started seeing the stuff that Alfie Lavoy and Bill, Bill Meridian and some of these other guys do. I keep my stuff as simple as possible, and I've got to have patterns and ratio along with the astrology. Otherwise, uh, the Bradley gives you a little bit of a lead, but you need pattern and ratio to determine what the risk is going to be. That's how it looks. I remember, I'll repeat this story because it was one of my favorites back in November of uh, 1989. I, I saw this monster a pattern in astrology that was really exciting. And I said, no matter what happens, I said, this is going to be on every newspaper in the world. And if it's not, you know, you're going to get a free subscription to Astro Cycles for a whole year. That happened. Nothing happened in the market, but it did hit the newspapers. It was the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, I believe it was November the 9th of 19, it could have been the 7th, 8th or 9th of uh, 1989. And believe me, that was a big deal. That opened up the world, and uh, that was one of the reasons why the stock market, after that bottom and in, in, uh, after the crash of uh, 1987, that was the really kickoff. Uh, things going uh, a whole a whole lot higher. So those are just a few of the things that uh, that I'd just like for you to know, because I I try to have guests on here that give you a good idea, and boy, they they do have some great stuff. I mean, you have to admit the the the. The guests that we've had have had some really terrific uh, 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 stuff, but what I do is is relatively simple. I got a few little quirks to it, but that takes a little bit of time to learn. But it's just basically A, B, C, D ratios and proportion. You have to tell yourself that the market repeats over and over again. It is predictable within limits. That's what your edge is. You try to be right about six out of ten times. Your winners will be bigger than your losers, and hopefully you'll catch one or two big ones like we did in gold and hogs and stuff like that, but you don't always get that, you know, but uh, you try to get the ones that you can. We've got a nice start in the, the Treasury bond, but, you know, that, that could change in a heartbeat because if we get above that, that big number that we're looking at in the Treasury notes, up above that 128 in September notes, you know, we could be we could be watching uh, a market that's going to be having a, a situation where we have um, uh, negative interest rates. In fact, one of the things that Arch focused on in his letter was a comment that was written, an editorial written in Barron's. That's why we really need to get Arch. My first thing today after the show is to uh, give Arch a call to have him on the show for tomorrow or Friday at the latest because uh, he really is – I respect the guy's work. And we want to listen to what he says because, uh, you know, if we're prepared for it, you know, we might be able to see something that looks uh, looks pretty interesting. So we'll we'll just do one thing at a time, and uh, from here to see what we're what we're looking at here. Okay, um, 
the uh, someone asked a question about the coffee. The coffee's holding up relatively good, Ruby, but I I don't know. It hasn't broken out to the upside. It needs to get above that 105 level uh, in the coffee, and then it, it could have a pretty good run. But right now, you know, it hasn't really. Uh, actually, actually, it's 106 that we need to get above that level. But it's held at some pretty good support, and uh, some of the other commodities are holding up at the same way, and that's about it. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to post a chart of the June hogs first, and then we're going to look at the August hogs, showing you the difference, why trading sometimes can be a little bit more complex than you might like to think. But if you'll notice on this June hog chart, uh, you can see the bottom we had down in February. We had beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern, 786. That was Mother God and Country. On this one, we have a nice ABCD coming down to the 78% level. The June hogs did make the 78% level to the exact tick. I mean, within with just a few, a few dollars. 
The problem was that because this is June, you can't trade June hot. Well, you can, but that's really – I'll look at platinum in just a minute, Ruby. But let's take a look at uh, the August hogs. You see August hogs had not quite made the um, – let's get get this up here. I'm going to walk through some trading strategy here because you get tired of just looking at these darn charts. Anyway, you'll see the double top we had up there in the August hogs. Remember, June hogs went about four or five cents higher. Uh, this was a sign of some pretty good divergence. Uh, much like we could be seeing in the stock market right now. Uh, but if you notice the ABCD to the downside, a beautiful three drive pattern coming in at 81.60, 81.57. The low last yesterday was 80, uh, 82.30, I believe. It missed it by just a hair's breadth, and of course it went to 85. A big move. Now, what, what I'm going to do, because I, I missed this order, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be following it on a. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, why are you getting tired of being stopped out, uh, Maria? That's uh, that's what you're supposed to do. That's that. When you get stopped out, that means you're just that much closer to your next trade. The day you don't get stopped out is the day you don't use a stop, and then you run out of money, dear. So if you don't use a stop, what are you going to do? You can't do anything. Bada bing, bada boom. I get stopped out all the time. It's like breathing, dear. So don't... Uh, don't uh, kick. You got to get yourself a stuffed animal. Get yourself a stuffed cat, and kick it around the house a little bit, and uh, be okay. Don't get a real cat because the AACP people will be after you, and you don't need that. Uh, never had a pet in my life, not even a goldfish. Okay, well, there you go. You can you can kick the hubby around. That's okay. That's uh, that's <laughs> that's the usual thing. Okay, let's move up. Uh, Let's move on to uh, these August hogs because uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, they're trading around 85. The buy point is about 82, so it's three cents away. They could easily go back there and touch it one more time, maybe like what we're looking at in gold. I don't know the answer to that. It's still way too early to tell. And that's uh, the key thing that I wanted to, uh, uh, to tell you. That's what the trading part is all about. I mean, you got to you got to trade set up beautifully. You want it to do exactly what you want it to do, but when it doesn't do it exactly, you have to change your you know the way that you're looking at it just a little bit to say how much do I want to buy hogs here and risk three extra cents? Absolutely not. I, the easiest way for me to do that would be to send the checks directly into the Chicago Mercantile Exchange so I could forego the four dollar commission because uh, I do not do very well chasing markets. Uh, I just uh, you know. Just not in my, uh, my, not in my bailiwick. I just don't particularly, uh, you know, really care to do that. So let's just remind ourselves that that's where we are. All right, let's take a quick look here at platinum. I want to do it two ways. Well, I want to do it two ways. Here's where we were on Friday. I want to get it up here, and then what I will do is to bring up the platinum uh, live here so we can see it all together. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it had a pretty good rally. I heard him talking about it in the den. Uh, a little while ago, so I think we had a pretty good rally in platinum, but I'm not sure, which would be unusual because uh, it has been doing the exact opposite of gold. No, it didn't do anything. It hasn't, it hasn't even been a dead cat bounce. Now, someone said it got to 840. What are they talking about? They must be using some of that cannabis stuff that I see on the air quite a bit. Give me a second here now, and I will get with my new system. I'll be able to get this chart uh, right out to us, so we'll be able to see it. And we can see that the platinum has not really uh, done much. And here it comes. There we go. We'll be ready to go here. And if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. You know, platinum is just in this trading zone here between uh, 788 and uh, 835. Remember, gold has taken out the April high. Platinum hasn't even moved. So that's it. That's uh, pretty much uh, some of the things that you're uh, – that you're that you're looking at. So anyway, that's it. Someone's asked a question about a lot of the things that Mark has talked about. Other people, you know, use and stuff like that. Uh, folks, Mark was all for that because he felt that uh, if he thought his stuff was enough to be copied by everybody, he felt that that was a a really good thing to do, and uh, he was all all for that. So that's uh, the main thing. So that's pretty much, I hope that answered your question about the platinum. Uh, I still think it's got a chance, but not much. It doesn't look like it's going to be, uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't look very bullish here considering what gold did. We have to be really careful with the gold, folks, because that could have been a major double top in gold. We've seen it before. We saw it at 1375. We could have seen it again at 1352. There was no 
yes, he did. He uh, Ruby. He traded uh, only traded two hours a day, and he only traded Treasury bonds. That's all he traded. Uh, didn't trade the S and P. Uh, he had a little system for trading the opening price in bonds that uh, you know took some money out, and that's uh, that's what he was there for. And uh, he did. Uh, that's what he did. He had no interest in watching the markets. Uh, he would put the order in, and it never even looked to see what happened afterwards. There would be a, a stop, and then the uh, the execution. He was right a little better than 50% of the time, but was consistent enough to to make it. It was very. It was a good little system. You know, I think his wife uh, Paula uh, still uh, uses it, as as I recall. But uh, that's neither that's neither here nor there. So we need to pay close attention to what you're doing, not what anybody else is doing. You're the one that has to take the responsibility and you know you got to put together the things that you like that you can understand and you know some of these guys are so good with using the uh using moving averages you know Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, uh Basil Chapman they do a great job at doing that stuff. I I'm not an oscillator person. You know, I I look at just what the bar charts are doing and that's really what I'm trying to do is just to figure out what what I'm doing, and that that's really uh, what it's all about. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to answer them for you, but uh, let me have to double-check some of these markets because we're at such critical levels up in here today that it's going to be a very, very interesting day. Another one that we need to talk about is the fact that the banking index has had virtually no rally power here which is a sort of a negative thing to stocks, but uh, not much. The rest of it looks uh, really powerful to come out of here. Uh, that bottom on uh, June 3rd at that Bradley bottom, that was, uh, that was pretty powerful. So that still looks pretty good. All right, let's take a quick look at what we're looking at here. Uh, so we got up to uh, where we're trading at 29.05 now in the S&P, 13.28 in the gold, so that's not going much going on. 13. The bonds still look terrible. They, the bonds have had a big break here, uh, and what you want to do is watch the 382 retracement here in the bondolies. Uh, that would come in here at uh, 153.20, up about another seven ticks. We made a really nice ABCD this morning, just absolutely spot on at 12, 152.26. Uh, that was from the high back on the 7th, the low down on the 9th, and then back down again. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South 
African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I see that Peter from Park City uh, posted the fact that the E-mini S&P made its 78% retracement. So I posted that chart in there for you to take a look at it. Uh, we're up eight days. The odds of the market going lower uh, on the eighth day is about 85%. But remember, if it goes up more than eight days, it's in a run, and it could go anywhere it wants. So it either stops right here at the 78% level, or we'll see. Now, we stopped at the NYSE already, the cash index, SPX, but uh, that's some of the things that we're looking at here. I wanted to share... Uh, let's see, we might have a caller coming in here. Here, we got a question here from Mr. Z. How, how is your six-day Bradley has been lining up? Uh, it's uh, the the Bradley model. Uh, wow, there's too many questions here. Uh, the sixth place. Uh, you know, the only the only way I can do this, uh, uh, Z, is to uh, let's just bring up the Bradley so we can take a look at it together. Uh, and it's lining up pretty pretty nicely. Uh, Larry Williams's date came in on the 12th. Wow, that's uh that's tomorrow, but that's going to be a high. See what I what I what I did here is all I did here. Th this is the Dow Jones Industrial, you notice, and and I, I had the ratios there that I was looking at, and we're right at the 78% retracement there uh, in the Dow. That's where we went short today, but the the uh, the June 6th date lines up pretty nicely. Now I don't I don't think uh, you know you're not going to catch all the little wiggles in here. All I'm doing here is I'm looking at an eight-day run into a 78% retracement with divergences and the doubt in the uh, the Russell, the banking index, and uh, the uh, New York Stock Exchange index. So that tells me that the market is not nearly as strong, uh, at least today. I mean, my God, look what happened since June 3rd. I mean, give me a break. I mean, this is this is really powerful. So that's that's all I'm looking at. And I'm not, you know, hey, I, I, I'd like to be a buyer on anything, uh, See, it's, Z's asking, do I end the sales before mid-July to monitor time-wise? No, sir, I do not. I'm not that. That's beyond my pay grade. I don't want to risk that amount. Of, you know, if I have to make a decision between uh, the 11th of uh, June and the mid-July, that's a whole month, how much do I have to risk to see whether I'm going to be right on that or not? And I don't like to risk that much at, at my uh, as I enter the the uh, the fifth furlong, you know, so we'll see. Uh, what? Why is that bad thing, Peter? Uh, I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Okay, could you, uh, Peter, could you explain to me what that means uh, about the, the the spike down to the low? That's just short-term trading stuff, folks. At 10, 11 points, that's not that's not a big deal. The fact that it hit that exact number in the S and P that is a big deal because uh, look what look what happened when we hit the, the exact number at 27. 30 on the downside, the ABCD. What happened there? The market rallied 130 handles. So yeah, it does make sense. It, it is powerful, you know, but it's not always powerful. You know, like my grandma said, you got to kiss a lot of frogs in the old pond before you find the princess. So just remember, 
pucker up and use some uh, Burt's Bees for chap lips. Anyway, um, the question about uh, Bitcoin. Oh, by the way, folks, you know, we get some great charts here from the UK. And uh, the gentleman that sends those to us, his lovely wife, uh, they come to visit us several times in Tucson. Uh, she passed away after a two-year bout with cancer. And, I mean, it was a terrible. I mean, what they went through was uh, there's, there's got to be something that not good about that. But anyway, she finally peacefully went away, so sent some white light out to her. I wanted to share with you a really interesting chart that uh, Rich Anderson was able to send along because we talk about this expanding triangle pattern quite a bit. This comes from a, a man called North Man Trader, but he did a beautiful job, uh, you know, looking at this over the last three years. Uh, you can see the three drive to a top pattern. Uh, drive one, you know, drive two is uh, uh, lower than drive one, three is higher than, than one, and uh, three is lower than two, and five is higher than three, and uh, or two. Yeah. Oh, wait, one, two, three, higher than three. So then you have that three drive to a top pattern. Now, then he's making some prediction here that, you know, the bottom that we had here in June, we're going to go up and make a new high. May or may not. We don't know that. But that's what he's looking at. But the colors are nice. It shows you the panels, uh, the channels and everything. So, you know, it's a good way to look. And he's got an oscillator up there that uh, I don't under quite understand. But um, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. But it's a nice pattern showing it. Uh, it's really, uh, really quite nice. It was a T6 pattern in um, Gartley's book. Uh, on The patterns are from pages 200 to 250. And he has them categorized. A T is a triangle pattern, so a T6 is a triangle uh, with a, a six uh, six handles, whatever that meant. But it's a T6. And then he had others, of course, that were breakout patterns. And you know, the ABCDs are on page uh, 249 of, of the Gartley book. So that's neither here nor there. Now, also on the move here, we had a pretty nice move in the Nasdaq uh, to get up to that same level. So these are really critical levels, folks that we're seeing here. And you notice that we went all the way, just just this morning, we went from 212 down to, we dropped 12 handles. And what did we do? We rallied right up to a 61% retracement at uh, 1208, 29.08. And here we are about, here we are just jumping around again. That's all it is. So uh, that's neither here nor there. The, th the, key, the key market that I'm really watching today is the treasury bond market, because if we can't get above 153.20. We're trading at 153.16 right now. That's telling me that that high that we made back last, uh, what was a week ago, we didn't make a new high on Friday. We had that divergence, but that's telling me that we could be looking at something really significant, you know, to the downside. So the other one that I'm watching, of course, is the fact that we might be able to get that gold down one more time to that 1320 level, because at 1320, you only have to risk five dollars an ounce. And five dollars an ounce on a contract that's worth one hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars is uh, a good uh, a good risk reward play because when it pays off, it pays off, you know, relatively good. Uh, regarding the currencies, the the euro and we we talked about the fact that that dollar index was at a critical level. It's still held. You know, the euro is trading at one thirteen seventeen. It's hardly backed off at all. That's a really bullish sign, i.e., bearish to the dollar. So all of that means something. And, folks, I don't know anything about the tariffs, but I don't think anybody else does either. Just look at the bar charts and see what's going on. Our corn, our corn's trading at 428 in the Christmas corn. We want to buy it at 420. We we talked about that. Uh, you know, there's, there's one that's really set up nicely, whether it's going to be, uh, you know, mean anything or not. I think it's something that – you know, you got to have on your watch list. This looks just like the gold market. Maybe you miss it a little bit, but take a look at the take a look. This is exactly like the gold chart. In fact, they're both the same color, orange and gold, yellow. That's sort of a joke. But anyway, you'll notice the old highs way back in June. I drew that line across. Comes in at uh, 424. The 382 retracement. The ABCD comes in at 420. And this was as of Friday. We were at 433. We're now 428 right now. Eight cents to go. If we get down there, that's uh, that's where you pay your money and take your choice. I mean, that's what you look for: pattern and, and ratio and everything. You don't need to know the fundamentals. You can never know enough about the fundamentals anyway, in my opinion, but that's neither here nor there. I had a rather totally nasty email from someone telling me that uh, 
fundamentals was the only way to go. And I, I told him, I said, I, I can understand that, and I respect your, I respect your opinion, as Abraham Lincoln once said. However wrong it may be. 877-927-6648. Two and a half minutes to wrap up time, boys and girls. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page page of tfnn.com and sign up today this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com okay we're back folks and i've almost got it lined up to have arch crawford on tomorrow to talk to him about the uh, situation that he highlighted in his newsletter about the strong potential for a war sometime between the 3rd and, uh, well, actually between the 16th and the 30th of the month of June, the last two weeks. Uh, he's made predictions like this before, and he's better than 80% accurate. So uh, we're going to have him on and listen to what Arch has to tell us. Uh, remember, folks, uh, some of this stuff does not come to fact. I mean, uh, the Y2K thing back in 2000, <laughs> Arch really thought that was the end of the world and he had enough food for like three years and stuff but it didn't happen but we had a lot of fun with him after that but some of them do you know and you watch it and fo follow the charts and maybe you can uh, find a great situation i appreciate the folks that uh, that uh, emailed me yesterday about buying the options in the gold and uh, they made a lot of money over the last uh, you know that, that big run up so um, that's that's great doesn't always happen that way but uh 
we'll see what happens. We'd like to get back in that gold. You want to be waiting for 1320 in the gold, folks. Uh, 1322, 1320 is the area we're watching. So you pay uh, pay close attention to that. We'll look at that uh, again tomorrow also. And again, we will have Tim Bost on Thursday. He'll be chatting with us again. And then next week we will have uh, Stan Harley on, and then also uh, Bill Meridian will get back to some of our regulars towards the end of the month as we uh, move through the, the section uh, in here. So that's uh, basically what I'm looking at. Any other questions today? Uh, the Treasury bonds, the key level is 153.20. That's a 3.82 retracement. It would be equal to the rally after the big drop on Sunday night. Uh, we're down uh, two handles from the high, which is a couple of thousand bucks. That's quite a bit. Uh, someone's asking about the key levels in the S&P. If we get above 29.20, it's off to the races. It can go anywhere it wants to. And if we get below 28.70, uh, that means a major top was in today at that 78% level. Remember, the NASDAQ did not make the 78% retracement, nor did the Dow Jones Industrial Average, nor did the Russell. So there's a tad divergence. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.